Oh, this is some juicy information. Oh, we have a terrible Reggie Fisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays? going on everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple of dope nintendo switch news items for this video but first give the video a big thumbs up let's crush 300 likes all right nintendo's global president he sat down for an all new interview with Nikkei Business, huge Japanese publisher, and he spills even more beans of Nintendo's console plans for the future. Some juicy stuff in this article coming via Kotaku. This is what he says. For our company, it's a big topic what we should do next when a console passes its fifth year and the hardware's life cycle is in the process of getting longer. Now, I told y'all, Nintendo on average has a five-year console lifespan. A lot of dudes are thinking of the Wii, and the Wii went longer than usual. But from the NES to Super Nintendo, give or take five years, from the Super Nintendo to the um, Nintendo 64, give or take five years. From the 64 to the GameCube, give or take five years. And from the GameCube to the Wii, give or take five years. It was five years. The Wii U barely made it to five years. And so Nintendo historically, for their home consoles, have gone a five-year cycle. Now, what's interesting, interesting is... The Switch is a hybrid. And so um, Nintendo's in uncharted territory with this life cycle, lifespan. But he continues. Um, the article says Nikkei Business did not ask the executive about the recent Switch redesign rumors. But the interview does shed light into how Nintendo develops new hardware. Um, check out what he um, asked when the um, publication pointed out um, how Nintendo ha handles console lifespan. This is what um, Furukawa said. Regarding the Switch's lifespan, I often say that's entered its middle phase or so. He explained that because the Switch can be played as a traditional home console and as a portable, there are a lot of possible games. We are able to lengthen the life cycle. So, they're trying to lengthen the life cycle of the Switch. You know what this screams? This is not going to be Nintendo's next-gen console. It's going to be like the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro. And so they're going to um, extend the life cycle by doing an iterative upgrade. Not a full generation leap, but um, some boost in the processing power, but running the same exact game. All right, for a car was asked about development timeframes for hardware, to which he replied, we are always doing R&D, research and development. <clears throat> According to Furukawa, the hardware and software dev teams are in the same building and are in close communication. Therefore, they are able to come up with new ideas and proposals because... You must do, this is what he's saying, you must do all sorts of various preparations to make one new console. The truth is that you cannot stop. Ultimately, the deciding factor as to whether or not something becomes an actual product is whether or not it creates a new experience. And so, um, he continues, he continues. Some more information. Uh, currently, Switch sales are exceedingly favorable and achievements are also good. 
but I have zero peace of mind. He said, no matter the hits in the entertainment business, people someday lose interest. So he, he's pretty much saying they have to keep innovating, keep moving forward. They're always researching new hardware. But what was interesting was what he said about the lifespan of the Switch, that they are not done with the Switch. This could go either way, though, because they could come out with something that replaces the Switch and say the same thing they said with the 3DS. Oh, we're not done with the 3DS. The Switch is just the third pillar. We're still going to keep supporting the 3DS. And that was just press talk because the Switch was going to replace the 3DS. And so Nintendo's president, he was interviewed again and he is talking about the Switch's lifespan and how they want to um, figure out to make the Switch lifespan longer. So I thought this was interesting, but the Switch Pro rumors are heating up. Again, to reiterate what I've said in my previous videos, 2021 is now the time frame for a Switch Pro by holiday 2021. <coughs> um, 4K docked, um, OLED 720p, 720p screen in handheld mode. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Bro, speaking of the Switch lifespan and sales, I found this next article very interesting. This is coming from IGN. And they compared where the Switch is right now to where the best-selling console of all time is right now the, was in the same lifespan, the PlayStation 2. And, bro, the Switch is outpacing the best-selling console of all time, the PlayStation 2, by leaps and bounds. Check this out. In its fourth year... March 2003, the PlayStation 2 sold um, 51.2 million units. At the same point in the Switch's lifespan, the Switch is at 79.87 million units. Almost a 20 million um, unit of advantage by the Switch. And the, so, it's not just hardware, but this is what I like about the Switch. The software also kills it. This is what it says. In terms of PlayStation 2 games, over 350 million units were sold by March 2003, which is huge. 350 units. 350 million units. Bro, the Nintendo Switch, as of December 31st, 2020, has sold... 532 million units almost 180 million more at the same time as the playstation 2 bro the switch is going to be the best-selling console of all time it's going to happen bro at this point i don't think it's a matter of if it's just a matter of when how soon will it eclipse the playstation 2 Switch is killing it, man. Nintendo done a great job, great job um, um, with this product. All right, next news item. The Switch Pro Controller is on sale. That's right, At on Amazon, you can currently get a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller for 59 um, bucks, 60 bucks, which is about 11 bucks off of the usual retail price. These things sell for 70 bucks. It has the whole HD rumble. Doesn't have the, the only thing that this thing is lacking are triggers, um, the adaptive triggers on the PlayStation 5. Oh my goodness. But it does have the HD rumble and there's a lot of technology in this controller, 70 bucks. So if you're looking to get a pro controller, you can get one on Amazon for only 59. So go ahead, take advantage of it. All right, and the last news item, I thought this was pretty dope. A new game announcements, Exophobia, a retro inspired first person shooter has just been announced for um, the Nintendo Switch is coming. Uh, it's a multi-platform release, but it's also coming to the Switch, launching October 5th. So 
They're going first person shooter, but with a retro style. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy.